Aloha, Ecamm family. Guess what? As you know, Ecamm Live 3.10 is out. And one of the coolest features that we've added to 3.10 is the ability to use Mac OS shortcuts. Now, shortcuts has been out for iOS and iPad OS for quite a while. If you're unfamiliar with shortcuts, think of them as well, shortcuts. If you want a app to open and then run a couple of particular tasks every time that app opens or when that app closes or when you press a button or send a certain email or a certain hashtag, it sort of generates an automated task that runs, well, automatically whenever you do something of that sort. We've added it to Ecamm as a couple of different things. I'm gonna show you how to build one real quick. They're relatively easy, but shortcuts can do many things. So I strongly suggest if you're a Mac user, which you are, you should definitely take a look at shortcuts. We're gonna dive in real quick and I'm gonna show you how to build two that I think that any streamer could use in order to, well, just make the situation a little better. Let's dive right in. Come over here, this is Mac OS Shortcuts. If you can't find the application, it's in your applications folder. You can get to that by clicking on the finder and pressing Command Shift A, alphabetical order, Shortcuts is in there. You can also hit Command Spacebar and type, well, Shortcuts, hit enter, there you go. So at this box here, you'll see all of my shortcuts I have loaded. Some of these are from my phone, some are from my iPad, some that I've downloaded along the way, but real simple, real easy. Just come over here and press on the plus button. We're gonna build something for when we go live. This is just a blank template. Walk over here and let's say the first thing I wanna do is set the focus mode. If you're unfamiliar, focus modes allow you to set up your computer to do various things like do not disturb. So right now I have set for do not disturb and I'm gonna click this little button here and set it to on. If you press show more, you have a couple options until I turn it off, a specific time, when I leave, when it ends. Like if you know your show's only like an hour and you're afraid you might accidentally leave it, set this for like an hour and a half. Um, anyway, I'm gonna show you how to fix that later. So next thing I wanna do is send out a tweet to let everybody know that we're live. So you can look in these categories, you can also look at apps. If I, apps are in alphabetical order, scroll down to the bottom, I see Twitter here. I'm just gonna drag the Twitter one in. Sorry, I'm gonna click that. And then I'm gonna drag tweet in. And so now I have tweet on. I'm gonna make myself a tweet to populate this with. So it says live streaming now on my YouTube channel using Ecamm tweets. If you don't already follow us, follow us on Twitter at Ecamm tweets. Please join us, and then I have docrock.live slash live now. Now that's a vanity URL, but did you know your URL channel name slash live will automatically take someone to a live stream if you're streaming on YouTube? Pro tip. Now, the last thing that I want to do is send a notification to myself to let me know that it worked. So I'll press notify, and I'm going to just drag in show notification. And then instead of hello world, I'm gonna blank this out. And then I wanna just say live streaming uh, shared via Twitter. Uh, you have the opportunity to show more and then you can title this if you want. And then call that a day. If you wanna play a sound, you can play a sound. I'll turn it off well because we're live streaming and we don't wanna hear that noise, right? So now that I'm done, I can press this button and it will automatically play. When I do that, it kind of breaks screen sharing, so I'm not gonna do it. But if you notice the last video, you saw it pop up. Okay, so I'm gonna just go ahead and close this. Now let's finish one up for on the way out. As you can see, I have it here. I can edit the color, edit the icon, do whatever I want. Since we're Ecamm, let's go ahead and make this guy orange, okay? Now, let me come over here, press the plus button again, and then we're gonna say ending stream. All right, now, what do I wanna do when I do this? I wanna put the focus mode back, otherwise I won't get any messages, right? <laughs> Setting the focus, do not disturb, stops all kind of pop-ups, twings, whistles, bells, things from other apps. That's what we wanna be able to put it back, because otherwise someone's gonna text you and you're not gonna know. So I'm just gonna do set focus, and then I'm gonna set this focus, do not disturb to off. That's already done. Basically, that's it. I could also even run another shortcut. If I had an additional shortcut, I could pass in another shortcut. And I have one in here called extract audio that I made in order to take audio 
out of a video. So you get a video and you want it to play without any audio. Or I want to use the audio as a sound bite. I made a shortcut called Extract Audio. So now what it's going to do is in the stream and then run a clip called Extract Audio, which could just take the sound portion out of your Ecamm file that you can use for a podcast. That's just an idea of a symbol. Again, shortcuts is rich. You could do lots of things. I highly suggest you look into it. Check out my buddy, Matt Casanelli. He is a fantastic trainer in shortcuts. Just go do it. Trust me, it's going to save you a lot of time. Now let's dive back over to Ecamm and I'm going to show you how to set this up in Ecamm. Here in Ecamm, all we need to do is go over into the preference files. The very last box says shortcuts. And when the broadcast starts, I want to say go live. And when the broadcast ends, I want to say ending stream. I totally did that backwards. Let me, let me edit that name real quick. Oh, that's funny. Okay. I'm just going to press enter there and then it'll update in just a second. Now I can put it on ending stream and that's it. Now there's a couple other things you can do. Like when Ecamm live opens, automatically set your lights, lock your smart door. If you have one, close the garage, you can have shortcuts do many, many things. Things. That's it, guys. Another real quick tutorial for you here. If you like that, make sure you leave us some information down in the comments, questions, comments, feedback. And once again, I highly suggest you check out Mac OS Shortcuts and enjoy version 3.10. We've added a lot of features. If you haven't already done so, jump over to ecamm.com and download the latest version. The algorithm is going to show you two more videos we think you should watch, and we absolutely agree with them. Go, 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 go